Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about sports girl makeup. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I actually just did a little haul of what I got. I'll leave my Instagram here. So, I got some things from Sports Girl to do a makeup tutorial. I'm going to just use everything Sports Girl that I can and whatever I don't use, I'll just list down below. I'm not going to actually go through it with you because 9 times out of 10 you can probably guess what mascara and that I probably will be using. But yeah, let's just jump into the video. Right, so I got quite a few things in here. I could probably do like a really good full face. I've got two eyeshadow palettes. I ended up getting two foundations. I got golden and beige. The other one was just way too dark. This packaging is just, oh, this is like matte finish. I love it. So I got the foundations. I got an all day illuminating, illuminating, illuminating makeup setting spray. Now I just sprayed this. And it's not actually a clear makeup setting spray, so I would have to say I'm going to probably have to use this before putting my foundation on. I got the Unicorn Drops Priming Serum, which I think is just like a dupe for the Fasali. That. I got the Glow Drops, just one of them. I got a lipstick to finish it off. I got a Illuminating Face Primer. Some of you are probably thinking from like my first video, I've always been a matte foundation, matte primer girl. I don't know why I'm changing. I think I, I think I really just like want glow my skin and health. I got the Peachy Brightening Setting Powder. I got the Glow Illuminating Mask, which I probably will not be using for this video, but I just, it, it smells like honey. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. It just smells like honey. Um, I will probably use that in a, another tutorial just because I've just had a shower because I've been busy outside cleaning. And I got the Coco Bronze Whoa Reflection. The Coco Bronze. This, this is huge. So, yeah, I'm going to do a makeup look with all of this and we will just jump into the video. I'm going to take Nude, which is this color right here, and pop that just on my crease. I'm just bringing that up a little bit as well. So, so far, they're blending out really good. So far, it's just one shake. I'm gonna take Melba. And then I'm gonna take Sorbet. And I'm very lazy and not changing my brushes because as I said I have no clean ones so I'm just gonna make do. <laughs> just taking sorbet just on a fluffier brush. I'm gonna actually take sunset and pop that all over my lid. So all I've used is this one palette. Damn, I'll probably have to use the other one in another video. What a pity. Wow, they're nice eyeshadows. I'm just gonna take Nude, which was that first transition color and just Lightly blend everything together. We're going to take the unicorn drops. Oh no! Oh no! Wait a minute. This is being a disaster. How do these people on Instagram do this stuff? I do not know. So it says you can use this as a primer or like a serum. I'm going to just use it as a serum and then pop a primer on over top. So the primer I will be using is the Time to Prime Illuminating the Face Primer. I don't know how you think you're supposed to use. So I got two shades. I got golden and beige. 
golden is on the left. Golden is the one in my right hand and beige is in my left. I think I'm going to be gold and beige. Golden is just way too dark for me right now. So I'm going to apply golden to my face. I've never done a stick foundation so I'm quite nervous. I never know how much you're supposed to apply. And to blend it out, I'm going to use my sponge. Actually, what I might do is I might spray the all day illuminating setting spray on my sponge. So that blended out quite nice actually. I'm gonna let that sit, do my eyebrows and concealer and I'll be back. Okay, so that concealer eyebrows are on. I am going to bake with the Perfectly Peachy Powder. Guys, I actually did something for a change in my videos. Took all the plastic off my products. Came prepared. Okay, this is definitely peachy. <laughs> Packs the smell. So I'm going to take a mixture of sorbet and melba. Sorbet and melba. In a corner highlight, I'm going to take seashell. Oh, that's that's definitely a uh, uh, chunky. I think I'd be more comfortable mixing, mixing, mixing this in with my foundation. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face with that peachy powder. I'm going to duck into that Coco Bronze palette and bronze and do some blush. And for lips, I'm going to take Ink, which is a heaven lipstick, Pout About It lipstick. Ooh, I'm like, done a colour scan today. Okay, everyone, so that concludes this makeup look. I'll just zoom you in so you can see it. Uh, so I didn't do lashes again. I've just gone very simple. Very glowy. I quite like it. What are your thoughts? It's very pink. Might be too pink up for the lips. I know. I didn't really think of what eye look I was doing to match the lipstick. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas and I would actually recommend the Sports Girl Makeup. Not sure about that illuminating spray. Might have to do some YouTubing myself to see how other YouTubers have used it. I think it would be best to mix with your foundation or apply before putting your foundation on. So like that serum, then the primer and then that, but then you're using so much illuminating, I don't know if you're just going to sweat it all off. Uh, so, overall, yeah. The only thing I'm not too sure about was that um, brightening setting powder. It smelled nice, but we'll see. I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, to like, <laughs> subscribe, and leave me a comment before you depart from this video. And I'll see you on my next video. <laughs> I did not plan that speech out really well. Anyway. Bye.